Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to the Blessed Place. How y'all doing? It is 3 o'clock in the morning and I need to be in bed because I have work in the morning. But I was watching videos and I came across uh, Living My Best Life's video, He Ain't the Promise. And I just had to do a video response because and you have to watch the video because I'm not going to make this a long response so I'm not going to go back through what she was talking about you know you have to watch her video if you want to know but she was so speaking to my situation and my testimony and I don't care if this video don't have but 10 views I just pray that it's the 10 women or men who need to hear this her video, He Ain't the Promise, took me back many years ago. Um, I had a boyfriend, my daughter's father, and eventually I had given my life to Christ. We had been together like five years, and Derek was about three years old, and I had given my life to Christ. And I told my boyfriend I could no longer be with him. I couldn't provide for him physically what he needed. And he wasn't trying to turn his life over to Christ. We couldn't be together. Fast forward, you know, I thought that the Lord was going to bless me with, you know, the desire of my heart. If I delight myself in the Lord, he will give me the desires of my heart. And I was banking on his word. And year after year after year, single two years, and single four years, and single six years, and single eight years. And I can remember being single now maybe about five years. And I can remember being out walking. I remember this so vividly. I was out walking and talking and praying to the Lord and crying out and hoping that vehicles passing by didn't think I was a crazy woman walking down the road crying. But I'm crying out to the Lord and saying, Lord, when is my husband going to come? You said in your word, if I delight myself in you, you will give me the desires of my heart. You also said in your word that if I give up, sister, brother, you know, all of these things and material things, that you will bless me in this life. Y'all, I'm not one to say that the Lord spoke to me. I don't know about you. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not spiritual enough. But the Lord don't talk to me all the time. But when he does, I know he was talking. The Lord spoke to me so clearly and said, if you live for me, I will bless you with a husband that's beyond your wildest imagination. And... I said, okay, Lord, I know that was you because I'm not the one to say every day the Lord is speaking to me. You know, I have impressions of the Holy Spirit, but I'm talking about speaking to me loud and clear as if he was walking, literally walking right beside me. So after he had made me that promise, another year went by and another year went by and four years went by and another year went by. Until eventually, 13 years had gone by. And there would be times that my faith would almost fail. The Lord, you told me. I know what you told me. However many years ago. But y'all, to make a long story short. I'm now married. April was four years. And the Lord blessed me with a husband that's beyond my wildest imagination. Blows my mind. I actually sit and say, I'm waiting for the real person to surface. Because this can't be real. This can't be true. It's not possible to, kind, to have not only the kind of husband and relationship that I desired but the kind of husband and relationship 
that goes above and beyond anything I ever could have asked or thought to ask. But y'all, that's God. And sometimes I'll say, is this real? And know what I have to, to ask myself? Deidre, whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the report that God gave you? The promise that he gave you years ago? Or are you going to believe the cliches that said, if it's too good to be true, it probably is? I, I believe God's report. And if you're watching this and you're waiting on something from the Lord, whether it be a husband, whether it be anything else that your heart desire, and if God has given you a promise, hold on to that promise. Hold on to God's promise because his word is true. He cannot fail and he cannot lie and he will bless you abundantly and above all that you can ask or think believe it God is good and if he tells you or if you get the impression that the one you're with he ain't the one he ain't the promise believe it he ain't the promise but God will give you beauty for your ashes y'all be blessed